Brrrra! What's up my people, my name is Spicy and today is the last day to participate in the giveaway to win one of the 4 Amazon gift cards I am gifting you for helping me reach the 2500 subscribers mark. So first, subscribe, then click the link in the description and get a chance to win. It is totally free. I've got some spicy out of work lady stories for you today, so tune in. Turn on the notifications to be part of the early gang and leave a fire in the comments if you are having fun with me. Congratulations Annette for the comment of the day. Brrrra. My neighbor Karen coming to theaters near you. This happened just last night so it is still fresh in my mind. It was Friday night. Me and my roommates got super high and then realized that we were out of food. Well, high people food like fruit roll-ups gushers, popcorn, and so we did a rundown to the Duan Reed, a few blocks down. For those outside of Manhattan, Duan Reed is Walgreens, just New York City style. Now, location is important. We live just off of Park Avenue. Yes, bougie as hell, but me and my roommates live in the baddest walk-up on the block. We are on the third floor, with the first floor having a crappy Irish pub and the second floor having a psychic and happy ending Korean spa that only opens after 7pm. So not exactly ballers, but most of our neighbors are. And the people in the neighborhood after working hours are almost all exclusively rich white people. Now back to me being really high. It is cold. So before me and my roommates head out, I change into my favorite onesie. A my neighbor to the road onesie. And we walk out to the Duan Reed a few blocks down. Then we get down there. And me being really high, I am super indecisive. And I am staring at a lot of fruit snacks. I take one. And then I put it back. And then I take another one. And then put that one back. On and on for like 10 minutes. Then a Karen comes around. I did not notice her. I was bent down. But out with my tail in the air. Excuse me. She says loudly. But I ignore her because I'm choosing food. She clears her throat and says it again. Excuse me. Stop what you're doing. I need your help. Okay, then go find it. Well, you work here, so you can help. Me, trying to be polite and hide the fact that I am really high. No, I don't. What gave you that idea? I'm not even in uniform. And this is Duani Reed, a corporate convenience store. Every worker has to wear a uniform to prevent mishaps like these from happening. Well, your, your. My roommate Freddy shows up out of nowhere and goes, Cause you're black. And well, this part of town, I guess, has not figured out that POC can live here too without being the help. POC means people of color. Karen turns bright red, then runs out of the store. And then I start dying of laughter. I mean, of all the people that would not be working right now, I am pretty sure I will be one of them. Especially with my Totoro onesie. All is well that ends well though. I got my snacks and even went next door to McDonald's and got a milkshake and fries. The machine was not broken for once. And then this morning on my jog walk around the block, who did I run into but Karen? I gave her a nice smile and wave. She did not return it. Well, I gotta say, this story is fake because he said he went to McDonald's and got a milkshake because the machine was not broken. And that is a lie. The machine is always broken. So this story is fake. Walmart people. I am in my pajamas. Just woke up from a nap and haven't showered in a couple of days. At Walmart to buy some shampoo to rectify at least one of those things. I grab one of those little baskets in case I see anything else I need and sure enough throw a couple things in it. So here I am in my pajamas, disheveled and groggy with a basket full of items and sniffing shampoos when I hear a lady at the end of the aisle shouting, hey, hey, don't ignore me, hey, turn around right now, I mean it. I assume she was shouting at a disobedient child and was not paying any attention to her, which was evidently a mistake so she came over to confront me i look up when i notice an angry lady stomping towards me and yelling don't disrespect me when i'm asking you a question where are the razors at so i look over my shoulder to see if she is shouting to an employee further behind me and she grabs the handle of my basket 
and yanks on it to get my attention back. The razors, where are they? I pulled my basket out of her hand and said, Hell if I know, lady. Just as two employees nearly run around the corner to see what while all the shouting is, she tells them, I need to talk to a manager. She's ignoring me and is very rude. The employee looks at me and notices I definitely don't work there. Ask what she can help the lady with, and there's a shouted explanation of why I am the worst employee ever, then takes her to the razor aisle. Neither the employee or the shouting lady addressed me again, so I got my shampoo and left feeling confused how her question about razors escalates that quickly. Why don't you know where the harmers are? I am a forensic supervisor. Our uniforms are a black polo, black tactical pants, radio, duty belt, the whole nine yards. We get mistaken for police officers a lot. So much so, I am also wearing a ballistic vest, which is also black. I was in a Lowe's home improvement store, waiting on their customer service rep to return with an order I had placed for our unit. We had a new vehicle we needed to outfit with tools, measuring tapes, a laser measuring device, etc. So I am in Lowe's, standing on the customer side of the customer service desk, wearing head to toe black with the word forensics in big bold yellow letters in at least three places on my body. Nothing close to what they were in Lowe's. When I hear, <clears throat> excuse me, I turn around to see a man walking toward me. I am assuming he's going to ask me if I am an officer, because that happens fairly often. But instead, he says, do you know where the armors are? I'm sorry sir, I don't. Why not? I don't work here sir, but I will assume they are with the hand tools. And where are those? I'm sorry sir, I don't know the answer to that. I don't work here, but if you want to wait the customer service rep will be right back and she should be able to assist you. You don't work here? No sir, but you are in uniform. Yes sir, I work for the forensic unit. This is our uniform. Then why don't you know where the hammers are? The worst thing about being in uniform is that I must remain polite and professional. So I stated again that I did not work for Lowe's and that the customer service rep that had just returned could help him. He stormed off instead, muttering about my ignorance. This guy does not sound smart enough to use a hammer. I may not work here, but I am the right one to ask. This may not fit this subreddit exactly, but I thought I'd share it here anyway. I was doing my grocery shopping at our local supermarket and had just turned up the aisle with all the makeup, toiletries, etc. At the far end was an elderly gentleman that looked very much out of his depth as he scanned the shell. You know when you can read a person's thoughts while watching their body language over a brief moment? I watched him go from confusion of choice to hear cut to my heel footsteps alerting him to a woman in the aisle. He turned towards me with a brightening smile, ready to ask for help. And then I saw second thoughts rapidly flash across his face. Just to set the scene, my entire wardrobe is black, I am heavily tattooed, piercings, etc. And it was my heeled new rug boots that he heard. But he got over his hesitation as I got closer and kinda started out if I could help him choose a hairspray for his wife as she was ill and usually bought her own. Well, he asked the right person. I am also a hairdresser and took time to talk him through the choices for hair type price and value for money, etc. He was a lovely man and we had a nice chat before I moved on. It was clear that he did not think I worked there, but I don't think he was expecting me when he looked up either. It is nice to see the change in someone when they see you're not crazy at all. But to be honest, he could have at least the man to speak with your manager. Do you work here? I am at the fruit shop, carefully inspecting what water bottle to get. Do you work here? Silence. And silence. Okay, never mind. Keep in mind, I was 10 at the time of this poll. I was not overly tall or big for my age either. You became the equivalent of an unprogrammed NPC in her mind game. Awesome! But I like it that she worked it out on her own eventually. And this is just a quick reminder, if you are enjoying my videos and you want to see more of what I do, please consider subscribing because this will help my channel a lot. And if you want to support me fully, to the fully extent that you can support me, well just like this video and leave a comment if you can or if you have something creative to say or just say hi or thanks or say that you love me or that you want to buy me a cookie, you know? I like cookies so you can take a bed anytime. But otherwise, let's get to the next story. Backstage security for the band. This summer, there was a rock show with a childhood guilty pleasure band that I really enjoyed headlining known as Eve 6. I wanna put my tender heart in a blender 
beautiful little angsty song that stays in your head for months when you accidentally hear it on the radio after believing all the members of said band to be dead. A co-worker of mine pulled some strings with the local radio station and was playing the national anthem on guitar as the opening act. So I went to photograph his big debut and also check out some free music because hey, who hates live music? My co-worker got me backstage so I could get all the photos necessary. It was harder than hell. So in between sets, I was hanging under a tent by one of the back entrances. I have my back to the entrance as I am getting random candids and what if you when the drummer for the band whose name escapes me taps my shoulder. He has got two ladies with him and goes, Hey man, I am the drummer for yada yada and I wanted to bring my friends backstage. They don't have backstage passes however. I look around thinking maybe there was a real security guard or something and perhaps getting my attention was an accident. It was not. After a few seconds of me glancing about, I give him the universal head nod of approval and go, I will allow it. Get some high fives out of the deal and some swell concert photos. I don't work here, but I am a regular. There is a Winco store I shop at regularly. I started going there because it was the only 24 hour store and I am usually a closer at my job. So my shopping choices are very slim by the time I clock out. But I've been going there for years at this point, enough that everyone there recognizes me. And I am familiar with pretty much the entire store. I'd stopped by the other night to grab a few things and was heading down the pasta aisle to grab some noodles. I walk with a cane and the time I usually shop is the restocking shift. So the middle of every aisle is full of boxes. Because of these two facts, I have to plan ahead when hobbling down to grab something. Normally, I would just ride one of the scooters, but I was feeling better than usual that day, so I thought, hoof it. That's really the only reason I noticed the older couple in the aisle with their own card, looking a bit lost. The lady was holding her list, and they were both glancing over it. Since my attention was already on them, I could not help but overhear them as I was passing by. So we need soy sauce. Do you know where it is? You need soy sauce? Looking at me a bit confused. Yes? <laughs> it is the next hour over, right side, all the way at the end. The shelf it is on is about waist high. Do you work here? No, but I've been shopping here for ages. I love this store. Oh, me too. We just moved from California and we had a Winko near home there. So we were glad to find one here too. We ended up chatting for a few minutes, while her husband had the long suffering look of a guy who knows how much his wife likes to talk. Eventually, we said our goodbyes, but I still would see them every other aisle, which made Lady and I both laugh. Poor gentleman though, definitely didn't like shopping. No drama, just something short and sweet for you folks. I am not a patient. Several years ago, I was a third year medical student. I was assigned to do a psychiatry rotation in a locked psychiatric ward. The students were all given keys to get in and out, but the patients could not leave. They were not violent, just a danger to themselves. One day, I forgot my lunch. So I called my wife and asked her if she could drop it off on the way to work. Her condo was about one mile away from the hospital. Since she could not just enter the ward, she stopped at the front desk to ask someone there to take me my lunch. The front desk person was not convinced that she was not trying to check herself in. They kept asking her questions about whether she was considering taking her own life, how long she had been depressed, etc. It took her a few minutes to convince them that she just wanted to drop off her husband's lunch and that he was a medical student in the lock ward. Could you imagine being a delivery guy for the hospital? Sign here, miss. Sign? A sign of what? Are you thinking of hurting yourself? Are you a mailman? This subreddit has me hopelessly paranoid. A few days ago, I went out to my apartment hallway. There was a guy in a US postal uniform with a US postal bag putting mail into the slots for apartment tenants. I asked meekly, are you a mailman? He said, deadpan. No, I just play one on TV. I asked if he will accept my outgoing letter and he did. Hey, please participate in the giveaway where I am giving you 4 Amazon gift cards. All you need to do is subscribe to the channel and click the link in the description. So go ahead and participate in the giveaway for Amazon gift cards. You will find more out of work related videos here and please like this video if you are having fun. See ya!